Hi Libra, welcome to your August reading. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your love and your support. I appreciate you and I hope that you're having an amazing day. We're going to see what messages need to come through for you for the month of August. See what you guys need to look out for, what to be aware of, what the vibes are like. If this reading is helpful or insightful, let me know by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And we're going to get right into your reading. Here. We're going to see what's going on for you for the month of August. See what spirit wants you to look out for, be aware of, and how things may unfold. All right, what's going on for Libra? What do my Libras need to know? We have the starfish, we have the unicorn, turtle, and beaver coming out. You have a lot of water. Holy, you are in the watery vibes, watery feels, the emotions, feeling these deep ass emotions. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's break this down. You also have the, the horse at the bottom of the deck. So like, that's a really powerful energy. So starting off with the starfish, the starfish can really represent this energy of feeling like really exposed feeling super vulnerable feeling um like out in the open and feeling kind of insecure about it like being put in the spotlight some of you it's like you're being put in the spotlight or you're gaining a lot more attention or people are like people are noticing you way more than usual now maybe it's connected to the north south node switch that was like last week and um you might be noticing some things about you that you'd like to change or you'd like to readjust or clear out like the starfish is making you become aware of things that you're not too happy about um right but with the unicorn coming out this is also needing to like embrace your uniqueness and accepting yourself for who you are all of your flaws and imperfections make you uniquely you you're not a carbon copy you're not just copy paste copy paste like you know you have these rare qualities about yourself and you're i feel like you're you're being like hard on yourself and you're needing to work on um like self acceptance and self love right like the unicorn is not one to judge the unicorn is someone who has a very open mind someone who's very loving and understanding and compassionate and all accepting right so it's like you're needing to this is something that you're going to be working through in the month of august is like accepting yourself and loving yourself for who you are and that you don't have to be perfect there's a vibe with the turtle coming through and picking up where it's like there's something about perfectionism that comes up um and having unrealistic standards on yourself or unrealistic goals or you having all this this pressure that you put on yourself you're very hard working beaver like you're, it shows that in in um i was just about to say september this might be even vibes that carry out for the month of september or virgo season but it's like you are working your butt off in august to accomplish to get things done to work on yourself to improve on yourself whether that be your physical health whether that be your mental health or your your financial well-being your relationships like i see you putting in a lot of effort a lot of effort you're dedicated you're consistent you're showing up you know even with the with the turtle this is representing you having the patience and the like you're able to just like whatever you set your mind to you will accomplish right and with the unicorn this is about believing the impossible and believing that you are more than capable but then with that starfish energy that's kind of like the bit of the hiccup it's kind of the little maybe this is um venus retrograde that's making you like look inwards about the relationship you have with yourself and taking a look at even the relationships around you that are more superficial or more surface level that aren't adding value to your life anyways with the unicorn it's like there's a new perspective that you're seeing things under you're seeing yourself you're seeing the relationships you're seeing the world under a different lens and there's like a lot for you to contemplate there's a lot for you to like kind of sit with and analyze like this is a month where it's like don't rush into anything take your time one step at a time um it's about needing to find the balance between working and resting um so definitely be mindful of burnout here but yeah there's like there's something that's developing and getting stronger because again starfish it's representing something that's on the surface there's something there's something going down okay we have the horse with the earthworm 
and the stingray at the bottom of the deck. So you'll have some sort of decision or it seems like you could be at some sort of crossroad here about a new beginning or about a new path with the earthworm representing newness, new and untapped potential, planting your seeds, planting your intentions. And I just heard set fire <laughs> and set fire. Okay. That's for some of you, I guess, right? You're, 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 you have these high goals and high expectations placed on yourself that it's like with the horse it's like you expect to just be instantly good at something a freaking pro right off the bat but you're it seems like you're a beginner at something you're, you're just beginning you're just in the early stages and that you are only going you will master whatever this is there is self-mastery here i do see that the work that you put towards this it's only going to get better and better and better but you're needing to be patient with yourself and you're kind of at this crossroad where it's showing that you're a little inconsistent with the firefly there's some inconsistencies here it's like you either it's either you got to go in all full tilt or nothing it's either all or nothing like dragon underneath that some of you this is affecting like your health or you are putting more of a focus towards your health your diet and fitness or well-being um what you're eating rest that kind of stuff so I don't know. We're going to get into the tarot. Let's let's jump right in. Let's dive in and see what this month is going to bring you. I kind of... I'm like, what deck do I want to use for you today? It's kind of weird. Because today... Because I've done quite a few readings today. I had like some private readings I had to do as well. But like it's so weird. A lot of these decks aren't speaking to me right now. And the one deck that actually is that I wasn't even really feeling called to use. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should use this deck. Because all the other ones I'm just not feeling called to use right now. So... All right, we'll use the vice versa. So what's going on with Libra in the month of August? There's something you could be trying to protect yourself from being vulnerable. I think there's part of you that just wants to be accepted. Or there's fears of not belonging. What's going on with Libra in the month of August? We have the Six of Swords coming out. Sorry, that's my dog going crazy. So we have the Six of Swords first card coming out. You are making moves. and You're moving away from conflict, from drama, from stressful times, from any difficulties that you had recently been dealing with, whether it be self-imposed, whether it be things in relationships, career, etc. You're moving away from that. And you're definitely focusing a lot more on where you'd like to be instead of where you've been, all right? So you're focused more on the future than the past. So you have, again, like you're shooting these high goals for yourself. And I think that's amazing. But let's, let's see what's going on here. We have the Hermit reversed. There's something that you're freeing yourself from. Freeing yourself from those unrealistic expectations or unrealistic standards let's see could be dealing with a virgo you may have virgo placements there's something about virgo season that could be relevant to this or there's something being revealed to you around this time something even about loyalty for a few of you i'm really drawn to the dogs in the corner dogs loyalty man's best friend let's keep it going what's going on for libra throughout august 2023 we have the world reversed there's some you're kind of surrendering to a cycle that hasn't been closed out you're setting something free you're setting yourself free let's see what's going on with libra well, all these cards are coming out in the reverse we have the pages is that the pages yeah pages swords in the reverse you haven't gotten answers or clarity but you're just choosing to move on we have the king of wands the seven of wands the two of wands lots of fire and then the the empress reversed you kind of feel like you've hit a brick wall or you felt like something's just not going anywhere or you're setting yourself free from a cycle that's been kind of left un open-ended incompleted i don't know if you've had the chance to express yourself or if you're holding back from speaking some sort of truth but it seems like you're turning your back on something. And again, there's this vibe where it's like you're trying to protect yourself. 
You're trying to protect your stance. You're trying to protect what you've worked so hard for. Like you never want to go back to the past, basically, is what it's showing up here. But yet you also feel kind of stuck or you're kind of feeling a bit blocked. Two of Wands to then the Empress Reverse, you're kind of feeling like you're at this standstill or you're feeling stagnant. Is this just self-imposed? Or you're feeling like you're left with no other options or no other choices? Emperor Reverse, things that are happening beyond your control. And then we have the Four of Swords underneath that, which is kind of suggesting to take a break, rest, and recuperate. Four of Swords of um, Leo, or not Leo, <laughs> Strength Reverse. It's kind of like you're fighting these inner demons or these inner battles that no one's aware of or no one knows about that you're keeping to yourself. I kind of want to say that some of these insecurities or these doubts or this, these negative beliefs, I always want to say that they're not real. Just because with the unicorn, you know, oh, unicorns are not real. It's like I'm wondering, like, these insecurities and these doubts that you're feeling or these negative beliefs that you're feeling, like, something about it might not be, like, 100% accurate or actually, like, the truth. The truth, you, have, you're, you could be looking for the truth or searching for the truth, but the truth seems to be from within with the turtle, right? There's something already within you that you need to just pull out of your shell. That's something that you're working on or you're getting stronger at or better at. Uh, okay. Um, what the hell? What deck to clarify? Uh, I guess I'll use this deck. My, my gold foil, super shiny. You know, you won't really be able to see the cards the very best. We got Virgo at the bottom. Double confirmation with the Hermit. Let's take a look into the Six of Swords, see what you're moving towards. Or like, what are you leaving behind? Like, whatever spirit wants us to know. Six of Swords for Libra. Come the Six of Swords for Libra. Ace of Cups and the Hangman. It seems like there's a connection that's at a standstill. Queen of Wands at the bottom. Put the Six of Swords. Your feelings or your emotions for a situation or for somebody. They're changing or developing. Or you could be like, again, setting yourself free. This is so loud. I'm so sorry. There you go. Wow. World Reverse. See, double confirmation. World Reverse. I know you cannot see it. I know. I know. You're moving on from some sort of relationship here. Or I see you detaching from your emotions or like you're reflecting on a situ you're reflecting on how you feel. And I think that's what you're moving on from. You're trying to put some space or put some distance or you're trying to detach. You're trying to detach. We have temperance at the bottom, seven of pentacles, and death. Yeah. I, I think you've you've kind of hit this place where oh i'm getting like all of a sudden i just got a little ache in my jaw it's gone now hmm that might be someone else's energy i reject it <laughs> no thank you spirit don't do that to me sometimes i'd be picking up on the energy in the most weirdest ways but um yeah it's like you've waited around you've waited on something you've been very very patiently waiting and I think you've just kind of made up your mind that you're done with death. Like you're ready to just move on and let this go and set yourself free. Like you're setting yourself free. Let's take a look. What are you setting yourself free from? Talk about uh, the hermit and the world reverse. Like you're kind of surrendering to the fact that you don't need to have all the answers to move on. Or you don't need to have closure to heal or closure to move on with your life. Let's see. Talk about the hermit reverse and the world reverse. For Libra. Libra, I feel for you. You guys, we have Venus retrograde and your ruler is Venus. So Venus retrograde might be really pulling at your heartstrings. But yet in a way where you are showing up here so strong and you're letting yourself be free from this. That's beautiful. It's very transformative. Turn out the Hermit and the World Reverse for Libra. 
Seven of Cups. Yeah, see, because you lack clarity or you were lacking answers and you were trying to find out the truth here. Moon Reverse, something is being revealed to you. Let's take a peek underneath that. The Devil. You're realizing that something... Six of Swords. You're realizing that something waiting around, searching, lurking for answers, trying to flip out over every single rock, was just keeping you stuck and it was just keeping you in this perpetuous loop and attachment and obsession even for some of y'all um you know where it became unhealthy where it almost became like an addiction um and so that's what you're moving on from because you see that it's unhealthy and you see that it's not worth it and yeah you're putting yourself first queen of pentacles ten of swords reverse you're, you're putting yourself first Oh, that was all at the bottom. Okay, I don't even want to clarify any more of that. <laughs> it was pretty self-explanatory. Very straight to the point. Let's take a look into this. Um... Okay, let's take a look into that Empress reversed here. Because you're feeling blocked. Like, you're feeling like you want to move forwards. So you, you're at this crossroad. You have a decision here. Let me look into this decision first, and then we'll see why you feel blocked or why you feel like you're unable to progress. What's keeping you stuck or... Because I see you, you're wanting to move forwards, right? You're trying to move forwards, but yet you're feeling like something's not available or you're not able to access the next level. Like, let's, let's see. Talk about this Two of Wands for Libra. Why is the Two of Wands here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus in August? Talk about this Two of Wands for Libra. What is this what is this choice? What is this decision for Libra in August? Two of Wands for Libra. What's this choice about? Seven of Pentacles. See? Again, there's like this waiting, anticipating. Should I stay? Should I go? Probably tying in with the like what are you leaving behind or like what are you you know? Okay, hold on. Or maybe Spirit is suggesting with the Two of Wands to the Seven of Pentacles, before you make this choice, you might want to wait a little bit. Or you might have other options coming that you aren't aware of at the moment. That you aren't seeing or you're not... Alright, tell me this Two of Wands for Libra. Two of Wands for Libra. What's this decision about? I feel like you're considering other paths, or you should. You've had a lot. Seven, seven, seven. By the way, sevens might be really relevant for you. We we were just in that seven seven portal, like you know, a couple weeks ago. Seven oh seven, and then seven seventeen. That was on the new moon in Cancer. That was also on the days when the the north south node switched from Taurus and Scorpio to Aries and Libra. Your sign. So something even around then may have right or planted a seed in your mind that's gonna come to fruition in the next couple of weeks talk about this two of wands nothing else is coming out y'all what is this choice that libra has five of pentacles and the queen sorry king of wands you're kind of feeling at a loss here you've been putting effort into something eight of pentacles Eight of Swords, double confirmation. Eight, eight, right? And then the Six of Wands. You're not feeling recognized or you're not feeling seen or you're not feeling supported or appreciated in a situation or relationship. Friendship, Three of Cups. You're not feeling supported or you're feeling like you're not being appreciated. Or that like... Yeah, you've been putting effort into this, a person, a situation, a job, fill in the blank, wherever, however this applies for you, that you've been really trying, right? Beaver, you've been trying, you've been trying, you've been working really hard, but yet you're feeling like it's getting nowhere, you're feeling like doubtful about it, you're having doubts, right? And so you're at this crossroad, two of wands, where you're like, do I just continue to keep sacrificing and putting up with this for it to go nowhere it's kind of like you are trying to plant seeds but nothing will sprout so is it the seed that's the problem or is it the environment you try to grow 
like over here i'm in canada if i were to try and grow an avocado plant which i tried that a couple years ago and i failed miserably <laughs> but if i can't i it's not the seed that's the problem it's not the intention that's the problem it's the surrounding it's the environment i tried to grow an avocado plant but guess what we have winter like six months of the freaking year i'm not gonna have an avocado avocado tree as much as i <laughs> delusionally wanted it to be <laughs> it's just not gonna happen it's not nothing's wrong with the seed it's just not supported in the environment and so it's like you're not wherever you're at it just doesn't feel like the environment's supporting you and you're like wondering you're taking it personal like is it something wrong with me am i the problem but it's like no you just need to move in a different direction or you need to put yourself elsewhere like that's the energy i'm seeing for you libra because you if you have what it takes eight of pentacles you have what it takes but i'm just wondering is it just not in this area or this relationship or this job or however this applies for you libra it just it feels like something is just it's it, but it's not you it's not you now maybe maybe if it is you it could just be your own fears your blocks negative beliefs that are getting you in the way of your success because that could be it right we did have the um eight of pentacles you're putting in all this work but then eight of swords you aren't seeing the results so you immediately you just want to shut it down and self-sabotage or you know your doubts are getting in the way of you and your success that could be it for sure but i am just wondering and only you will know if you know slash i've thought it but i am wondering if it's the environment that you're in or like the wherever you're planting your seed whatever this seed is whatever this intention is that you're trying to grow so desperately that's taking so slowly i'm wondering if you were to take that intention and plant it somewhere else or put it towards something else or put it in a different direction would it be more successful i kind of am getting the vibe that it would so you might want to pursue other paths or other options or take this in a different direction however that applies for you i don't know how that will resonate but i'm going to get you some advice from my worker light oracle and see if she has any advice for you on how to how to deal with this but it's not it's not you it's not you unless it's your fears right unless it's you like blocking yourself and you know that if you know you know that's just something you got to continue to work through but i'm feeling like it's just you got to set yourself free from this because it's just not the it's just if you're forcing it and i kind of feel like you could be forcing this that's a huge sign like it just it shouldn't have to be this difficult i don't know libra let me know if this is your situation in the comments do we have any advice for libra any insight was no any advice let me just specify advice for libra on the situation that they're dealing with whoever i'm speaking to whoever this message is for this reading is for what advice do you have thank you what advice we have how are you being called to step up and lead we have priestess out here some of you it's like you're needing to take matters into your own hands instead of waiting for someone to tell you what to do or waiting for someone to approve or say yes it's like you're needing to just like get your own ass up and just do it regardless um regardless of whether or not you're being supported whether or not people are applauding you or cheering you on or booing you it's like you are needing to step up and lean and just take this action regardless and not worry about what others are thinking or trying like again like something about that don't dim to fit in at the bottom right you're unique you have these unique abilities and gifts you're meant to be special you're not meant to be a carbon copy or replica of someone else so stay true to your authentic self and don't change yourself or try to pretend to be something you're not um what else we got for libra what advice you have for libra for the month of august we also have play have fun celebrate and don't be so serious yeah i mean honestly this entire read felt pretty heavy slash not like heavy heavy but just pretty serious you know why so serious so you're needing to have more fun you're needing to in you're needing to have fun in the sun all right august your advice is to take life less serious and less personally and less to heart you know if something's not working out it doesn't mean something's wrong with you or that you're not deserving or that you're not good enough okay like you know so spirit is really wanting you as advice to have more fun and to not take i know it's easier said than done but to not take this so so serious or so to heart or so personally okay i know it's difficult i know that can be difficult but it's something that spirit is saying 
and then what else we have yes just say yes so some of you is just like you just need to become more open-minded or you know if you're just rejecting yourself or shutting yourself down before the door is even you even walk through the door you don't even know if the door's unlocked you're like nope i'm not even gonna bother i'm not even gonna try i'm not even gonna try to set my intentions or plant my seeds or try to get this off the ground because i know it's gonna just not work like then why like you're just you're blocking yourself like for some you're blocking yourself for some it's your environment that's not supporting you and you need to change your environment or like go somewhere else or try something else or go down a different avenue i don't know it's gonna be different for if there's many people that tune in so use your discernment of course but I don't know there's just something about you need to remain more open or if this door is say if this one door is closed it's because another door is trying to open up for you so if this door that you're trying to walk through is closed it's locked trust that there's another door that you're meant to walk through that you should say yes to instead so yeah like keeping your options open too i think that's something that would help you keep your options open pursue see what's out there all right so i'm gonna leave your reading here libra i hope this was helpful and insightful let me know if it was leave a like comment and subscribe i appreciate you if you'd like to book a private reading with me the information is in the description box down below and i'm gonna let you go all right libra i will talk to you in the next one see ya